in today's cosplay tutorial video, we're going to be making the chemise and overskirt from Jester from Critical Role. To make Jester's chemise and skirt, I'm going to be using the digital pattern from Indigo Patterns on Etsy. And this is a pattern where you pick your size, print out all of the pages, and tape them together. Before you print everything out though, you start by just printing out page A1 and making sure that the key box is to scale before you print everything out because you want to make sure everything is the right size. This pattern does come with instructions with pictures. I'm for the most part going to be following them. I may deviate from them a little bit. So if my way of doing things doesn't really quite match your style, there are pattern instructions that do come with this. And the fabric I'm going to be using for my chemise is a linen blend that's kind of an off-white. And I just went ahead and surged all of the edges to keep them from fraying. You could use pinking shears or a zigzag stitch on a machine, whatever you prefer. Putting right sides together, sew the chemise front to the chemise back along the side seams. Then I went ahead and sewed a rolled hem along the bottom edge. Since these pieces look so similar, I'm using a safety pin to mark which is the front and which is the back so that I don't have to worry about that later. Following the markings on the pattern, I sewed some bias tape to the inside of the chemise along the waistline and had it open on one of the sides so that we can insert the elastic later on. For the flower designs at the bottom of the chemise, I took some light pink mesh that had flowers embroidered on it, cut around the designs, and then I sewed it to the bottom of the skirt. Putting right sides together, fold the sleeves in half and sew them together along the sides. Take the sleeve drape pieces, they're pretty long so it's not going to all fit in the camera at once, but we're going to sew a rolled hem all along the side, down the bottom, and back up to finish the edges. Putting the right sides together, sew the sleeve drape to the base sleeve. Sew bias tape matching the top fold of the tape to the stitching line from earlier, and we're going to be sewing it so that when it folds upward, it's going to touch the top edge of the sleeve. And I'm also folding each of the sides open so that we will have room to insert the elastic later on. Fold the bias tape upward and top stitch it to the seam allowance. Trim away the excess seam allowance. Then we're going to press the bias tape upwards and sew it into place at the top. And here's what the sleeve looks like turned right side out. I also sewed more of the pink mesh to the bottoms of the sleeves. Sew the sleeves onto the base chemise. Then we're going to sew bias tape along the top of the neckline to form an elastic casing just like we did for the sleeves. Feed the elastic through the channels and sew the ends in place. Ideally, I would have liked to have elastic that better matched the color of the garment, but I'm using what I had. After the elastic has been added to the neckline, the waistband, and both of the sleeves, the last step is to add the lacing. So I just tacked in place some dark blue velvet ribbon and then wrapped it around the sleeve. And now we have a base chemise. Moving on to Jester's overskirt, I cut four of them out of some blue linen fabric and then sewed a rolled hem along the three longer sides, leaving the top plain. I went ahead and serged this. This will be covered by the waistband, so it's not necessary. But since I was moving in between multiple projects at the time, I just wanted to keep it from fraying. I cut the waistband out of the same blue fabric and applied some fusible interfacing. Putting right sides together, we're going to sew the ends of the waistband on both ends. Putting right sides together, sew the skirt panels to the waistband, matching up the notches. Fold the waistband over 
and we're going to tuck all the raw edges inward and sew everything into place. To finish off the overskirt, we're going to sew a skirt hook on to the pieces that overlap. And with that, the base dress part of the jester is done. I apologize that it's a little wrinkly. I had to pull it out of storage to get the last bit of footage. But part three of making the corset will be coming out tomorrow. So please stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching.